massive foreign investments are coming into Malaysia, heavily from US, European countries, China, Saudi Arabia, and many others. So due to that, billions of ringgit have been spent to complement the investment with the strategic infrastructure, and one of it is the urban railway transportation. In southern region of Asia, Vietnam, Philippines, Thailand, Indonesia, all of them are spending billions of dollars for this kind of infrastructure. Now, getting back to our country, MRT2 and LRT3 are getting ready. MRT3 is on the way. So apart from the Klang Valley area, we can also see the trend is spreading to the northern side. As of right now, Penang is planning for LRT. There are also demands from the east coast and the southern areas. So a part of the railway transportation is one of the way to solve the issue of the traffic congestion and a long time taken for traveling, it helps to spur the economy growth. However, despite having this infrastructure, it may have a low ridership, people around the world facing the issue of the increase in the fare prices. Isn't the public transportation supposed to be affordable? So 20% of the uh, fare prices goes to the investment of the infrastructure cost. So reports from the Hong Kong's MTR, MRT in Singapore, in UK, around the globe saw an increase of 2 to 5% annually for the railway fare prices. Now let's ask ourselves, do we really want the trend to be continued here? So one of the big culprits is the cost risk. So the risk that we not foresee during the initial stage of the construction. So if we are not managing it well, it has a ripple effect towards the progress of the project. So delay can happen, quality and safety will be compromised. We really don't want that to happen. Railway project has a cost risk that can increase the cost by 45% or it could be more. So I am determined to tackle this risk. So imagine if we have the right model or effective measures to mitigate the cost risk it will significantly reduce the final cost of the railway construction project. To get a better perspective, my study would develop a framework or effective strategies that would not just benefit the project stakeholders, but it can also benefit the end users. It will benefit you and me, and especially for the future generation. So with the industry uh, agenda moving towards the construction 4.0, my study will also explore the potential of software and advanced technology that will help to reduce the risk. And all the cost saving can be directed to other critical effect, to other critical sectors. That means more funding for the healthcare, education, science and technology, and many others to sustainably continue to develop the country that we love, Malaysia. Thank you.